hello what's up in this video i'll be showing you how you can easily edit in photoshop so in this we're going to be learning how you can easily edit and color grade an image when it comes to photoshop how to do skin retouching how to do color grading in photoshop and finally you can easily save your photos when it comes to photoshop so simply come and like this video and don't forget to subscribe so just come to the image that you want to edit right click and come to open with and select the photoshop version that you want to use to edit so for my case it is photoshop 2025 and it's going to automatically open up the camera raw filter so with this i'm just going to come and take the highlights down to recover highlights in the image just like that and take the whites down so i'll take the blacks down and open up the shadows by taking the shadow slider a little bit higher or up so i'll come and add some contrast to the image and after doing that i'll scroll down to my color mixer right here and in this you can see we have hue saturation and luminous hue we just want to change a given color for example the greens you can change the greens to your taste so for my case i just want the greens to pop so i'll make the greens towards the aquas and i'll make the yellows more towards the green side just like that so i'll come to the saturation remember saturation is the intensity of a given color so i'll take the saturation down so the greens are not competing with the subject in this case and luminous is the brightness of a given color so i'm just going to darken my greens a little bit more so by just doing that i'm just going to come and hit open to open the image into photoshop for us to do the skin retouching so in photoshop the very first thing we tend to do is cropping the image so just come and get a crop tool and choose the ratio of 5 to, to 4 to 5 or 8 by 10 and crop the image so for my case i'm just going to click into the image and just stretch it in a little bit to balance it so it is going to bring in these borders and when it does that just come and select content aware fill and hit enter and it's going to fill up these edges for you and it's going to make the image a little bit more balanced than it was before so if i told you image doesn't have any issues you don't have to use this content aware method so after doing that anything is going to be working on the skin so to work on the skin we are just going to create two layers for our frequency separation so just come right here and press ctrl j create those two layers double click here to rename these two low and we're going to name the up layer to high frequency the low frequency layer is for colors and the high frequency layer is for texture so hide the high frequency layer by turning it off and select the low frequency layer then come right here to filter blur come to gaussian blur take the radius all the way down click on the skin and look for an area that has more textures than the rest of the skin so the fired area in this case and take up the radius so you left click and drag up the radius and stop at the point whereby you are just starting to lose out on the skin details so for my case six is okay and i'll click on okay so just come and click on the high frequency layer activate it once again and we're going to come right here to image and come to apply image so just come we are dealing with 16-bit image so just come and make sure you select low frequency layer the blend mode as add the scale is two and offset zero Opacity at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask around check the invert option has to be turned on and you'll see the textures on this gray layer so if i told you you're dealing with an 8-bit image so if i told you have eight use a blend mode of subtract the rest of the settings are the same don't turn on the invert option the scale has to be to an offset 128 and we'll have the textures on this gray layer so for my case i'll change this to 16-bit settings and click ok change the blend mode from normal to linear light and after doing that select both layers by holding down or pressing command and press ctrl g or you can use command g on the keyboard to group these layers open up the group by clicking on the drop down icon and select the low frequency layer and after selecting it hide or turn off the high frequency layer once again come to the brushes right click and get the mixer brush tool <coughs> and if at all it is not displaying under the brushes you can locate it down here so just come here and select clean brush and make sure the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke has been selected weight is 9 load 75 
mix 90 flat 100 percent and what we want to do we just want to blend the transitions between the skin tones of this image so don't zoom all the way in retouch at a distance so to apply the mesa brush tool basically left click and hold down and you mix a given color in the skin to blend it well and as soon as you're done mixing that area release the left click button and left click once again and you drag to blend just like that while still holding on the left click button and if at all you're using a retouching tablet is as easy as painting on the skin and blending so where the colors are transitioning from one color to another reduce on the size by using the box bracket keys on the keyboard to reduce or increase on the size of the brush depending on the area that you're working on and you always have to use a brush that is going to belong or fall within a given area that you're trying to edit or work on so you can see i'm not using a very big brush but the brush is also going to remain in the areas that i'm trying to work on so i'm just going to work on the nose and you can see i'm following the way the nose of a given area is flowing or the direction of a given area so that i can keep and maintain the original textures or skin details in that given area or the shape of the model's face in this case so i'm just going to come and apply it on the neck area just like that so you have to keep on applying on or blending the transition on every area that has skin because right now we are doing skin retouching come to the hands and also work on the hands just like that on the arms reduce on the size and get a small brush to work on each individual finger to get rid of these dark knuckles just like that so you can as well come and paint just like that so by just doing this you can see that the skin is now looking smoother than it was initially before so just turn on the texture or high frequency layer and see what we have been able to achieve right now so this is the image before after before after and after doing this the next thing is going to be perfecting or removing the skin imperfections regarding the textures and those are basically the pimples or blemishes in this very image so just come and select the high frequency layer and get get your clone stamp tool and make sure the hand is set to zero the mode is no more or pass in the flat hundred percent make sure the sample is to current layer and make sure it is zero the hand is set to zero zoom into the image by using ctrl plus on the keyboard to zoom into the image and with this simply hold on the option key on the keyboard for windows is alternate and left click on a clean area near the, ble the blemish and left click over the blemish to replace the blemish with clean skin so basically that is how the clone stamp tool is going to be working when you are trying to clean up or remove the blemishes and skin imperfections in your photo or in your portrait so right now we are remove the blemishes so if at all you want to create even skin tones we are going to come and create a stamp visible layer so we are going to press shift up alternate command e on the keyboard for mac it is shift option command e then for windows it is shift alternate control e on the keyboard create a stamp visible layer and come and get or create a new empty layer Come to the brushes, right click and get the normal brush tool. Make sure the hand is set to zero and soft round brush is selected. The mode is normal, past in the flat 100%. What we want to do, change the blend mode from normal and change it to color. Zoom into the image by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use Command plus on the keyboard. And you copy a color of the skin that you want the rest of the image to look like. So I'm just going to sample skin from this area right here. So hold on the option key on the keyboard or the alternate key on the keyboard to get the color picker tool and click.
click on that area so you left click on the area that you want so after doing that zoom out and increase on the size of the brush and simply paint over the skin so don't mind if at all the skin is not looking the way you want it to be so i'm just going to be doing a very quick job right here so take your time as usual as you're trying to paint on the skin so if at all you make a mistake simply get the eraser tool or you can press e on the keyboard and you can simply erase or rub away that mistake from a given area so i'm just going to come and paint onto the fingers just like that just like that so right now we have painted on majority of the skin so zoom into the image if at all you feel like you haven't painted some areas and make sure every single area has been painted using our color grading effect for the skin so after ensuring that you have painted on each and every area that has skin and if at all you have made a mistake get the eraser tool right here and simply come and rub away or erase make sure it is set to brush or pass in the flat hundred percent and just come and erase it from the hair area just like that and by just doing this you can see the effect is only and only affecting the skin so after doing that the next thing is going to be coming the opacity if at all it is too much reduce the opacity to your liking so for this i'll just go with an opacity of around 50 50 looks great yeah 50 looks great so this is the before after for just the color grading the skin looks nice and even so i'll just come and get the brush tool and paint on the areas i may have missed out painting so i'll just come and paint on those areas using my brush and by just doing that we have been able to color grade this very image and create that nice and even skin tone so before after so after doing that you can come and do a little bit of eye whitening or more color grading so just come if at all the effect is too much come to here and saturation come and select the reds and simply take down the lightness to your liking reduce on the oversaturated skin tone so i'm going to come and create a selective color adjustment layer come and select blacks and simply take up the science to create that kind of cinematic black to make the image even pop a little bit more so to make the photo pop even more we are simply going to come and create a levels adjustment layer and hold down the option key on the keyboard or the alternate key on the keyboard click on the black point and stop at the point where by the blacks a little bit popping or starting to appear then you're going to left hold on the option key and drag in this until when you feel like the whites or the highlights are starting to blow out so you can see before after now the image is now popping so after doing that you're going to come and whiten the eyes just come here and create a here and saturation adjustment layer and you're going to come to the saturation and take down the saturation to around negative 73 and press ctrl i or you can use command i and the keyboard get the brush tool and make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches by simply left click on these tiny boxes so with white as the foreground color you can switch between black and white by using the arrow key or that arrow icon zoom into the image and simply come reduce on the size and paint in the eyes to whiten the eyes so just do that so if at all you want to whiten the teeth you can also use the same technique and to erase the effect switch the brush back to black and you can simply paint once again using a black brush to erase the effect from a given area so i feel like the skin is a little bit more on the orange side so i'll just come to my hue and saturation adjustment layer double click on this icon 
and come to the reds and simply take down the lightness even more so i feel like that is better so to save or export the image so it doesn't change color when we post it simply come to file export and come to export as and it's going to open up the export as dialog box right here so make sure the quality is set to the maximum which is the highest quality the format is set to jpeg the resample is set by cubic sharper and make sure these two options are checked convert srgb and also embed color profile and simply click on export and choose where you want to save the image so this is how you can easily edit a photo in photoshop from the very start to the very end and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and don't subscribe to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching